Hello everyone, welcome to Hellfest. One of our favorite festivals actually. Uh, this is our little, what do you call it? Uh, well, garden we have inside. Over there we have Tommy sitting in the smelly section with the stage clothes. Some of our lovely crew members relaxing before shit hits the fan, sort of. But I actually think this is the coolest thing, this Hellfest 2022, that has happened ever in rock and heavy metal. Only the amount of legendary bands, not talking about good bands or large bands. So, only on one night we've got Scorpions, White Snake, and UFO on one stage. Alice Cooper, Megadeth, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, Blind Guardian, Nightwish, Dropkick Murphys, Volbeat, Airborne, we got Deep Purple. I actually wish we didn't have any other festivals during this time because I would have wanted to be here for the whole festival. Let's go and have a look at the rest. Say hey to Bibliki and Tommy. Hey Bibliki, hello, hello, and welcome to the backstage area. I'm sitting here in the smelly section, close to the stage clothes, because we, uh, when we use them, they get warm and sweaty, so we need to get them some air during the days. So I'm sitting here playing Nintendo Switch. Uh, right now I'm playing a game called Bro Force, and uh, it's going going well. Um, I have a bit of a cold. So I'm drinking tea, not beer. Not all rock stars drink beer. Some drink tea. I still have a good time. I can't remember exactly the first year we were here, but that was, I think, 2009 or 10, something like that. And then I believe we were here in 2012, and then like 16 or 17, and then 19, actually, where we were supposed to do one show but on Notfest, that was Notfest before and we played that show and then the day after we were staying to see Manowar, to see the show and then Manowar cancelled <laughs> and uh, Ben, promoter of the festival, asked us if we could do the show we thought, yeah sure we can do it, no problem I think it was that was going on during the night or in the morning, I can't remember and somewhere, I don't know how it happened but somewhere during the afternoon my voice totally disappeared 20 years of singing and that never happened to me and I was actually printing lyric papers <laughs> for the rest of the guys in the band, for Tommy and Chris, so they could take turns singing, because I didn't know how, how long my last voice was going to last. So I did like two, maybe three songs, I can't remember really. And then after that, I, we had a midsummer party, so I went drinking, we invited some people from the crowd, and then I went and changed the lyric papers for Chris and Tommy, so they had the lyrics to the songs in front of them. I mean, obviously they know some of the lyrics, but they don't know the whole set. So they were standing there taking turns singing each other's songs and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's dying! He's flying, he's not dying. But the allies are dying, but he's flying. Flying higher, king of the sky. I'm too fast and he's flying too high. Higher, and we're dying. And you will never die. <clears throat> you see, last time we played here with Sabaton, uh, Yorki was very sick. He couldn't sing uh, at all, he could barely speak. So uh, me and Chris had to spontaneously uh, do the entire show without Joachim, uh, with the lyrics in front like this. And uh, since today Joachim is much better in the voice, he, can, he gets to sing the entire show and we are very, very happy. But Joachim insisted that now when me and Chris actually can sing, how about he skip a song each show, like go and take a beer or something. So, we have to do one song. Thanks. Uh, not saying Hellfest is in any way a regular festival. <laughs> it is an exceptional festival. But a regular festival day is actually quite similar like today. You could have arrived in the evening or afternoon the day before or roll in early in the morning. Um, the higher up you are on the building, the earlier you have to get in. So our crew started very early this morning, like six, seven, to you know build on stage and get the stuff up. But for us, we wake up, we usually have a quite easy first half of the day. And then towards the afternoon, after lunch sort of, there's usually press and media to be done. And uh, after that, we usually take a short break. I'm gonna try some Ragnarok, ah, the arm game. Did you ever try the arm before? I've tried the arm before, yes, I 
I have a question. No, it's not. You can send it to me. Yeah, please. So, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. And then before the show, we usually meet up, I guess, an hour or a little bit more before the show in the dressing room. We change clothes or uh, talk through the show, look at the set lists. Sometimes we go through a few songs. We have a jam room, uh, nothing you know, exceptional, but we can play and maybe rehearse something if we need to. Ah, drinking station. Towel, so I don't sweat out the microphone. Attack of the Dead Man coat. Gas mask with mic. And there's that bastard. This is heavy as Swedish uniforms for the Swedish songs. And a crowd! After that, we sort of hit the stage. We were pretty boring in that sense. We don't have any huge rituals like before we go on stage. We do a fist bump when the intro starts and then we go. Thanks so much, Hellfest. That was insane. That was insane. That was in totally insane. So fucking cool. Love you so much, Press. <laughs> he deserved that. Hellfest. Oh. Oh.